Today we are going to talk about clinical presentations of Y frame of Zoshi's external stabilization system for management of proximal humerus fractures in elderly. This is a case of 60 year old active male who is a known case of ischemic heart disease, diabetes mellitus and on on blood thinners sustained a displaced proximal humerus fracture. Conservative line of management was advised but the patient wanted to resume movements. So we this is the surgical procedure for the insertion of the Y frames for the proximal humerus fracture. The figure 1 is showing multiple K wires are being passed into the humerus head in different directions. Figure 2 is showing the K wires are being connected with the help of link joints and a C arch. Figure 3 is showing the perpendicular K wires which are being passed into the humerus shaft are with connected with the help of link joints and two bent rods are connecting the shaft wires with the help of humerus K wires giving a configuration of Y therefore it is called as a Y frame. For detailed description of the surgical technique you can visit to my YouTube channel. This is a post-operative x-ray of the same patient after the Y-frame application. On the fourth post-operative day, you can see the patient is allowed to do pendulum exercises. At 10 weeks, this is the video of the patient's range of motion just before the fixator removal and this is the post-operative x-ray of the patient showing good fracture union. This is another case of a 75 year old male who is a known case of ischemic heart disease where you can see a similar type of JS fixator has been applied. In addition to the standard frame we have also inserted two K wires in a cross direction for giving additional stability to the construct. This is the range of motion of the patient at the time of fixator removal. You can see the post operative x-ray and this is the range of motion of the patient after 8 months following fixator removal. This slide shows the many other cases of just fixator Y frame application where you can see the fixator is been very well tolerated by these elderly patients. JS fixator is minimally invasive. It provides stable fixation even in the presence of osteoporotic bones. In the presence of comminution, internal fixation is often difficult while the external fixation provides a good fixation and it works on the principle of ligamentotaxis. Smaller K wires used in the JS fixator have a lesser risk of soft tissue, neural and vascular injury but the strict soft tissue safe zone corridors must be followed. Multiple K wires used in different planes adds to the rotational stability to the reduced fractures. The use of partially threaded K wires increases the pull out strength and it promotes the early rehabilitation. But there are complications like K wire loosening, frame loosening, pin tract infection, 
malunion and patients are not able to permit the early weight lifting but the jest fixator has advantages all as well it is minimally invasive simple easy to apply stable promotes early rehabilitation it has it requires shorter hospital stay it's light weight it is easy to remove and it is thus to conclude y frame of zoshi's external stabilization system can be considered as an alternative option for the definitive treatment of proximal humerus fractures in elderly patients with osteoporosis thank you very much